this video, you will see how to import a point cloud inside the Trilly Experience platform using the Civil Engineer role and the Terrain Preparation app. First of all, we will create an object of terrain type to store the point cloud. You can add the types you use the most as favorites to access to them directly in the plus menu. Rename your object, check that you are in large range, and create a 3D part to add a 3D shape, a container for your 3D geometry inside your terrain. Then geolocate your terrain. For more information about this, please refer to the previous video. Edit the 3D shape by double-clicking on it and go to Terrain Preparation app. Now we will import a terrain file, meaning a point cloud. You have the choice to either use the search, if your point cloud is already loaded in the database, either to import it from your machine by clicking on the import a file hyperlink. Pick your point cloud file, here, LiDAR, and click open. The point cloud will be first saved in the platform as an engineering document, so that you can keep all the traceability for your design. Click on the green check mark to validate. In the first tab, you can sample your point cloud if you want to decrease the number of points. Here is the list of available formats for import. You will be able to define your own user format. In the option tab, you can filter the LiDAR by classification to remove unnecessary layers such as, for example, vegetations. We will see that this operation can also be done afterwards. The last tab is an important one. It is always better to import with geolocation. You can define the source CRS that may differ from the target one defined precedently. Katia will automatically convert the coordinates from one CRS to the other. The last operation is really important. You can translate the coordinates of the point which is the further south and further west to the origin of your terrain file. This will allow you to stay inside the large range limits. The shift that has been done has been automatically compensated by changing the easting and northing positioning of your terrain accordingly. Now you can navigate in your LiDAR file and notice that it is really fluid. In properties, you can visualize the number of points. Here, a little more than 17 millions. You will have to click on more to display this information. Now, we have still the capability to disassemble the point cloud into the different classifications. You can then hide, for example, the vegetation. Or the buildings. On the point cloud, you can either display coordinates on the fly. Either do some virtual survey and measure a point to display its easting and northing coordinates. Here, in this other example of colored point cloud, we have 12 million points. In terrain preparation, you have several tools that will allow you to filter the point cloud, either in a local area, either using this nice adaptive feature that will keep less points in flat areas and more in curvy locations. By checking the physical removal, the filtered points will be deleted from your point cloud and your file will then be a lot lighter.